Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Yashwe Gaming. Well, if you're on this channel guys, I would like to kill, murder and smash that little subscribe button and also ring that bell notification guys. Okay, so without any further ado, in this tutorial guys, I'm going to teach you how you can use MSI Afterburner and how we're going to set up the OSD, okay, on screen display. By default, first time loading this is going to look something like this. Alright, so basically, yeah, you can change the settings as well if you go to uh, the whole skin uh, if you don't like this MSI default skin you know click here settings and uh, you know go to user interface all right and under user interface skinning properties from there you can choose maybe something like this oh the cyborg version okay just hit okay Okay, and now the setting is right here. Okay. Okay. So what we need is to go on to monitoring. Okay. So you wanna go to monitoring. And as you can see guys, there are a lot of stuff right here as you can see. So first of all we'll have to um we'll have to select a bunch uh that you'll be needing, okay? so right here as you can see showing on screen display is already ticked all right so as for the first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark and select all which i will need okay so i'm gonna need gpu usage gpu temperature core clock memory usage memory clock and gpu usage so i have an nvidia geforce rtx 4080 okay so what i did was i show in on screen display i override group name instead of gpu i'm gonna write rtx 4080 all right hit apply and you can change the color as well or oh, you may even change the text if you would like okay swap this as you can see color here you can click here double click and this is gonna choose you can choose oh, choose any of those preset colors okay color preset all right uh and for the gpu temp okay so uh frame rate so make sure check showing on screen display and override this you can change this to fps all right and then frame time but for frame time we're gonna as you can see this one is not selected so we're gonna take it first and then we're gonna okay uh instead of text we're gonna show graph okay showing graph for the frame time right here i'm gonna get this little icon this is uh if you minimize it, it's gonna be right here you're gonna see a uh, monitor and a 60 on the screen so you're gonna click it all right so it's gonna look something like this okay Google yeah as you can see now on this page you can click all of these corners so if you click this corners it's gonna switch all right something like this and if you double click and bring the 60 maybe like here as you can see boom and now uh, if you want to add on screen display fill just click this it's gonna add this and if you don't mm -hmm. like the font guys uh this is the size is too big so the font so if you have installed any font such as i don't know any custom font 
Alright, so as you can see, nope, not that great. So size, I'm gonna go to nine, okay. And this one, alright. This one looks promising. And as you can see, guys, uh, these are just kind of boring. All of it graph together. So I'm gonna show you how you're gonna. Uh, bring them down okay line per line okay so you're gonna click here you're gonna go to monitoring and say for example you wanna this one so RTX from the GPU so say for example mm, here so once I hit apply as you can see see right here changes okay but i don't want to add this so i'm gonna hit apply so it's gonna bring the frame up okay so as you can see it separates from the vram and memory clock okay all right so you can see that uh, if we go up memory clock all right so basically this you're gonna add it from here yeah now it's separate this and say you want to separate from the ram you want to add this and as you can see it separate into columns as you can see now it's more neat yeah well you're good so now if you would like to set up more then you want to click Alright, so now you can change the colors as well. Okay, so if you would like to change the color, say for example for the GPU, uh, you have to go to monitoring, click here and layered graph. Nope, not graph, but this text color one. And say I would like to make it much greener. So I'm gonna hit apply. So basically it's uh, going to be like this for that and uh, for the blue part let's see say I want to make it more blues C Y A N all right so I hit apply and this changes and for the FPS I'm just going to leave them as default or maybe the FPS um and the frame time I would like that to be I would like them to be on white okay hit apply and okay apply okay all right so yes guys now as you can see we now ready and now if you'd like to add to go into more detail then you wanna go to setup you can go to plugins this should be off so you wanna click here and you wanna double click on it or you can click setup it's the same thing so as you can see double click click setup you can manually add layers table okay so say you want to export this so I click on layouts and you can uh, save as okay uh, I'm gonna save that in my document so uh, this overlay version 1 okay now you wanna click edit here so you wanna click add all right there's nothing in the sensor so you wanna go to MSI after burner so here say for example you'd like to add this can add this and then you wanna go to layer you here you can manually add any text layer if you wish you can select you can copy paste so control plus c and control v as you can see you can copy all like that say this one so you wanna give a text right so you wanna write something like rtx your gpu name all right you can customize a color as well so say i'm gonna give this color and i hit 
apply okay all right so as this you're gonna add another layer um maybe this one so just hit okay then you're gonna go to layers add you can give that so double click that and there as you can see for this one say you'd like to give it as uh, so it's gpu usage right okay so you can add value macro so it's become like this gpu usage as you can see now it's gonna show something like this now you can add another text layer and another such as see i don't know so as you can see you can replicate those above so mm, 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 gpu or maybe vram all right vram uh this is memory of ram usage right or memory i think it's ram mm -mm. apply okay and right, now you can copy this paste this right here and now just change this instead of the instead of this okay all right so you can remove this click this plus sign go to where is it ram usage was it i don't i don't know if you have a current png image you can load it if not you can add current value macro okay so this is gonna add something like this okay and uh you can table them i thanks so much for watching guys i hope you appreciate this video and if you did if this video was somehow helpful please definitely give this video for a thumbs up and don't forget to write me a comment if this works for you or not